And welcome back. A 21-year-old California woman was arrested last week for forgery after allegedly trying to use a fake credit card at a Moses Lake bank. The Bank of America manager told police Brittany Nelson, a Corning, California woman, was allegedly attempting to withdraw money on a credit card that was found to be fake after checking with the company listed on the card. Bank of America officials said the suspect is allegedly part of a multi-state scheme which people bring fake credit cards into a bank and ask for a cash advance. When the credit card is declined, they ask the teller to call the customer service number and the people who make the fake credit cards answer to give a false confirmation number. Grant County Sheriff Tom Jones last week hired Deputy Ryan Herring as the newest member of the Sheriff's Office. Heron, is pre Heron previously served as a corrections officer and deputy with, deputy with the Adams County Sheriff's Office. He is assigned to the patrol division and will go through a field training for the next four to six weeks. Heron was honored in 2011 for making more DUI arrests than any deputy in the Adams County Sheriff's Office. Residents of Grant County Fire District 13 must now get online to register a controlled burn. District 13 recently revamped its website for easier use and added a form that is now the only official way for residents within the district to notify the agency of a controlled burn. Other features of the new website include a fire report request form, an interactive boundary map, and a link to the National Weather Service's official fire weather forecast. Chief Shane Heston said using social media and computer technology frees up 911 dispatchers and enables firefighters to more efficiently manage controlled burns. Residents can find the new website at grant13firerescue.org. In news from the wider Northwest, while the Columbia Basin has its share of water issues, a rural community in Western Washington is taking unprecedented steps to ration the resource. State regulators are restricting new groundwater use in the Squim area to ensure there is enough water for future use and to protect threatened salmon. Under the new rule, property owners will have to buy credits to offset any new water use from groundwater wells starting January 2nd. That requirement drew plenty of protests at public hearings this year. Property owners who are served by a public water supplier are using a well or have a building permit issued before January 2nd won't be affected. Those who want to, make, want to take groundwater will soon have to buy credits from from a water exchange which connects buyers with willing water rights sellers. Our final story tonight for those of you who watched New York City's Thanksgiving Day Parade on television last week. Did you notice anything suspect about the confetti? Suburban authorities are investigating how shredded police documents got tossed to spectators during the parade. Manhattan attorney Sol Finkenstein said he and his son noticed that some of the confetti included social security numbers and license plate numbers. Some information appeared to have come from the Nassau County Police Department on New York's Long Island. Detectives from Long Island picked up the material Sunday and department spokesman said today that an investigation is underway. It will include a review of procedures for dis disposing of sensitive documents. For everyone here at iFiber One News, I'm Cody Johnson. Thanks for watching.